So in this video, we'll convert a decimal number into binary format. So for doing that, let's take a decimal number first. So let's say we have a number and the number is 5. Okay. And we all know the binary format of 5 is 101, right? Now how to get this 101? So you have to divide this number 5 by 2 and every time you have to uh, get the remainder. Okay, so if I convert this number 5, so I will get 101. So to achieve the same thing in uh, programming, what we, what we need is, first we have to uh, find the remainders, right? So we have to divide this number 5. So if you divide this number 5, you will get a remainder as 1 and the quotient will be 2, right? And again, you have to divide that number 2 with 2, you will get 0 as a remainder, this one, and then you have to, you will get a quotient which is 1, and then you have, the last number is 1, right? So that's how you divide a number, so which is 1, 0, 1. So here, we have, to, we have to first find the remainder, then we have to divide that number, and we have to append that, right? So to achieve that, we can do this with the help of array, then reversing the array. Uh, then I'll be using here something called a string buffer, which will work, which will make our work very easy. So I'll be using string buffer as equal to new string buffer. And okay, so we have to break this number or divide this number multiple times, right? So when I say n uh, let's save this number somewhere. So we'll say. So if I say n mod two, so it will give me. So this number will give me one, right? And then again, I have to say I have to remove that five. I mean, we have to divide that number by five. So we have to say n divided by two. So I will the resultant output I'll be getting here the the new value of n will be 2 and then again we have to say n mod 2 I'll be getting 0 and then we have to repeat this thing when until we are getting n as 0 so to do the repetitive task we have to use a while loop in this while loop I'll be using a number n and this while loop will work till my number is 0 okay and every time I find a find a remainder I have to append it in a string and I will say that number mod 2 okay now this will just give me the remainder I have to also find the question so I will say n equal to n divided by 2 and yeah so that's it that's how we will getting the string but we also have to reverse the string so before printing let's yeah, for, yeah let's print it but while printing we have to first reverse it okay and now if you run this the answer is 101 simple right uh, but let's say the number is 16 so the binary conversion for 16 is 1 and 4 zeros so if I run this you'll be getting 1 and 4 zeros let's try 255 so the binary for conversion of 255 is 8 ones so if I run this we'll be getting 8 ones simple right so that's how you convert a uh, decimal number into binary format. So thanks for watching.